Hey, if I give you guys something, some sort of update of some kind, um, I still feel like shit. I feel like going manic, um, and just flipping out on everybody over everything. Um, now wouldn't be the time to approach me with anything that would piss me off. I don't want to be around anybody. Um, my bed is pretty much my refugee. Or my refuge. Sorry, didn't mean to use that incorrectly. I can't think. It's fucked up my thinking process. Um, Suboxone's the worst thing ever. It makes no sense to me now thinking about it. If I was still on heroin, I could have kicked by now. Um, but I wasn't. I was on Spoxin, and that's 20 times harder to kick and stays in your system for up to eight weeks. So I'm drinking coffee with, I'm not telling you what's in it. And it, it's helping a little bit, but if that nurse. Karma, karma's such a bitch, and I bet that doctor's writing her something because she seemed like she was on something, so karma's a bitch, and I'm making it known that that doctor never saw me but once in four months, um, they, apparently it's illegal for them to throw me out without, um, tapering me down, um, because it can kill you. Um, they did not do that. Um, I was treated by a nurse, an LPN, not an RN, every time. I'm just... <sighs> and it's Dr. Jarrett. If you live in West Virginia, in Crab Orchard, it's Dr. Jarrett. And that fat fucking bitch. Like, I'm not gonna say her name. I'll say the location, but Dr. Jarrett doesn't have anything to do with it. It's his office. But it's that fat fucking cunt that thinks that she runs everything. And she even talks like she, she talks like she's like Britney Spears 10 years ago. You know, honestly, I think it was jealousy from day one. And it just went on and on and on to the point where I'm fucked. And I think she liked that. Um, karma's a bitch, girl. Karma's a real big bitch. It will come back and bite you in the ass, even if I have to make it. Um, and I know you have the um, link to my channel, so I hope you watch this. And I hope you know what I'm suffering through. And know that you will one day too. Know that you will suffer one way or another. And your fat fucking piece of shit husband that was about to break HIPAA, I should have let him. So I could have sued. Because he's a piece of shit that sits up there. Like, it's illegal for him to sit there and listen to conversations you have with patients. One, he's not a paid security guard there. Two, he's not a paid anything there. So, think about it. I'm not a stupid one. I have a college degree higher than yours. I have a master's, bitch. What do you have? Oh, that's right. You graduated LPN. So you went to school for a year. I went to school for seven and a half. So, I would say that, you know, right now, I'm more of a vengeful. Like, it's fucking my head up more now than anything. Um, I did put on a little bit of makeup today, trying to make myself feel better. Um, tomorrow, like, there was, there was this big thing... You know, I'm bisexual, openly, um, and my religion, like, doesn't accept it. I don't know. I have tons and tons of troubles, and no help with any. And my mom, my poor mom's trying to help. She is, but she don't know what to do. Hell, I don't know what to do. But it's rough. I mean... 
I know I'm not the only, like, addict, and I know I'm not the only one on Subox, and I don't know, I'm not the only one detoxing from it, and maybe that's why, like, my first video got the hits they did, or maybe it's because I'm not afraid. I don't care. Like, no. Basically, you pay $160 a week to get a prescription, and... Mind you, I only gave 40 40 dollars. She wanted it because she's going to kick me out anyways. Why? Because she didn't taper my benzos. I went from taking 30 benzos a day to them wanting none in my system. That could have killed me. I'm just now finding all this out. Like, if what if, some, what if that would have killed me alone? Would they have taken responsibility? Doubt it. Doctors and nurses don't take responsibility for shit. In West Virginia, our doctors, it's like we literally had the lowest grade doctors there are. Like, I had a doctor look at me and tell me, you're going to die. I believe you're going to die, but not today, so you can go home. You can leave the hospital. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. And I wish I could sit here and name them because I know people from West Virginia watch this. And, oh my god. But I thought I'd give you guys an update, like, on what was going on. And, like I said, basically everything's being done from my bed. Thank god I can write, like, and do everything from my bed or I'll be completely, like, screwed right now. If I can't do anything from right here, I'd be screwed because walking through the house makes me want to one throw up two my body hurts so bad i don't want to move and three i'm afraid to be around anybody because i'm afraid i'm gonna go manic and my psychiatrist name was shit went to him and he was like well if you weren't a drug addict i could give you the right medication he writes a box in himself what is wrong with these fucking doctors you know, three just got popped here. Gordino, he he would, like, a girl like me, you know, I do have health problems. I do have chronic pain. I should be on pain medication. You know, but they want to look at me and say I'm a drug addict. I'm a drug addict because I'm fucking in pain. You know what I mean? Needles in my fucking arms. Fucking, <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? The only needles that's been on my arms did my tattoo work. Which, granted, there are several of those, but, damn. I don't know. It's affecting my life in every way, but it's making for, it's making for good writing. Just my memory's gone. It, my memory has lapsed. It's gone. It's done. It's it. That's all there is to it. Like... I can't remember, like, anything right now. I'll start writing and forget the damn sentence. But, I'm still selling on eBay. Crystal Camp is my seller name. Um, go through clothes, purses, shoes, everything. You might want to check it out. Um, <clears throat> I need extra money right now. You know why? I'm not doing oxys. I refuse to do an oxy. Like, this is too much to even think about trying to do an oxy. But, I thought I'd give you guys an update and show you. You know, I never do blondes. And I would never do long. I uh, keep my hair short for a reason. I like it that way. I've had this haircut for a very long time. I ha I did buy some extensions. Um, and I'm not going to put in. I looked to see how I would look with that collar um, a couple days ago. And it actually suited me. So, but. Thanks for, I guess, just viewing. <laughs> I mean, what else do you say? Thanks for watching me, like, being tortured. When karma hits her, I just hope I hear about it. 
I don't believe we have a vengeful God, but I do believe that what goes wrong comes around. And I've seen her do this to not only me, but a lot of other patients. And what's, what's really weird is I've seen patients in there act fucked up, go back there, pee, come back out with three sparks in a day. I was always sober. Um, the line was faint. If there was benzos at all, I have really bad anxiety problems. I'll be the first to admit it. I have social anxiety. I, I mean, I have every kind of anxiety you could probably have. I, have, I even have test anxiety. I was I had to put put on something in school for that. But and I can I can see my OCD coming out a lot, like right now with my head like being all fucked up, like, you, you wouldn't believe the things that I've done in my room, but, thanks for watching, dolls, and, give me a like, give me a subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, damn it, like, y'all are watching, but nobody's subscribing, like, I need subscribers as well as viewers to make it on here, and I do want to make it. I mean, what do you mean to do? You mean sing, dance, I mean, I will twerk, I will sing, I will do whatever you want, subscribe, um, trying to use humor here, subscribe, um, give me a like, give me a comment, if you're going through addiction, you can even private message me, um, my Twitter is Crystal Campbell at... I will survive zero, um, <clears throat> all lowercase, except for the zero, of course, and Crystal Campbell's capital, but at I will survive all lowercase, zero, um, my Facebook's Crystal Campbell, and thanks, guys, like, being able to tell you guys, and it's been a few days, but being able to tell you guys is more therapeutic than you know. And the fact that I'm getting hits, people care, people want to know. And it might be drug addicts, who knows. But, but I do want to do a collab with somebody. Like, I can sing, but I need, like, I need a musician. I need somebody who will play the guitar. I would, uh, that's something I would really like to do. And I don't, I, I'm not, I'm unsure, like, I think I would like to do, like, To Make You Feel My Love by Adele. Um, I don't know, who knows, you know, could be Mazzy Star, Look Down On, Look On Down From The Bridge, I really like that one. But, um, thank you guys, thanks dolls. That's it for tonight. I'll be up all night probably writing and not being able to sleep because the shit keeps you awake, unbelievably. But I'm watching Nurse Jackie getting some tips. Bye, dolls.